Hey guys, what's up? This is Evil Plus here. Um, it has been a while since I uh last uh, did a dark profile video or any video in general up in my channel. But uh, for now, uh, I am back and I'm gonna showcase my ABC dark profile that I've been working on like quite recently. Like I think uh with the new balance and and the and the new format just like starting to shape up. I think um ABCs I think it is a good contender right now because um ABCs um for those of you who didn't know um ABCs is a good sleeper deck right now because um ABC Dragon Buster is still one of the um uh still one of the really really good uh, boss boss monsters in this game because um ABC Dragon Buster um is not is nothing the same as that like it's it's really really good right now and then ABC as a whole as as a as a whole tech concept is it's really really solid um I'm actually been um training on a couple of ABC variants to play in. in Play in, in the new format. Like obviously, um, there there is this episode deck which I'm gonna show you guys in just a bit. Um, there's also a combo deck that I thought up for episodes, but um, I'm miss I'm missing a quite a uh, bit of cards needed because I do not like using proxies for, for the deck profile because it does um, um, uh, clunky and unprofessional. Um, the cards that I'm missing there in the Mega Dance, and guess what? Um, it's obviously on um, Crossa Designator. So I'm gonna wait until I I got my hands on the Crossa Designator, so to showcase you guys those. And uh, I know that you guys might want to or might not want to um want to see my updated Dragon Deck profile with Crossa Designator or for the upcoming the format. But like I said, Crossout Designator is not in my current position at, at the moment. So if I do have them, I'm gonna showcase that 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 profile as well. So uh, but for now, I'm gonna showcase this variant for my ABCs that I just like theory crafted uh, with my own idea because I think it is the uh, interesting is interesting twist to it for ABC and spoiler alert yes it is um Iglesia on it obviously because yeah Iglesia and also um Iglesia is bay okay so um moving on with the with the deck for file uh so put the pieces it's uh two core three B and two C and I guess um Union Jabber counts. Um this is a right ratio. Uh no more, no less. For this deck, I in my personal opinion, I thought about uh, like bumping up the ratio of, for the core and, and the weapon, but um you don't you do not really really wanna break in this deck. I mean the piece drawing into the pieces they are only good if you have a way to get into hangar, but if not there this is Basically, a second in her hand as vanilla, so I think th um, these ratios are the, are the correct number. Uh, for hand traps, um, it's uh, 3 Ash, 3 Fek Veiler, and Triple Emperm. Um, I think these 9 hand traps, I think they are the right hand traps. Why? Ham just the play go going forward, especially in the new pro map. Um, because on these nine hand traps, the ashes, the veilers, and the imperm stay hits like basically uh every starter card or at least in general they hits hit that is really impactful for your for your opponent. So that's why I chose the main um the, these nine hand traps. And overall, um, they are like they are not they are. Okay, um, these nine hunters that I just showcased, they are, I feel like they are just general good hunters moving forward. Like, they are good against, good against Rogue too, not just meta decks. Okay, so, uh, moving on with the, with the spells. Um, three hanger, three authorization, and the terraforming. Um, so basically, 
Uh, you are playing um seven hangers in in the, in the main deck because at reactivation, if you already open 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 with the piece, it acts with acts like a hanger in your in your hand. And basically, if you open reactivation and, and the hanger, and you have, you have no and then you have no piece. Um, these seven cards are basically basically the piece that you, that you need need in in your in your deck so basically on um, these seven cards if you don't have a base there basically um the piece that that you're gonna search as as you play this deck so yeah um so yeah that's why i'm playing those on um, pieces ratio because you are playing so many pieces to search to search in your deck through the terraforming through the hangers and the reactivation so that you you can you can like um try to combo up and, and play the game um um, three bobbin droplet. Um, I guess this is kind of like a hand trap because it's sort of like acts like imperm. Um, but there are other ways to to make droplet to make use of droplet in this deck is because in, in a way that after your dragon buster tags out in into the banished pieces, um, you can use them with droplet. To stop something, and then your pieces they float. They will float to get to a uh, search, recycle, or summon a piece from your hand deck or graveyard, depending on the depending on the piece that you send with, with this guy's effect. So yeah, um, this guy has many uses and utilities to be played to be, to play in the deck because um in this deck when you when you play in this deck. Basically, I found that uh, you don't have to discard cards from your hand. You can also use use cards from your field to make use use of, of this card. Um, another note is that if you if you if one of your pieces is equipped, you can also use that to to like negate something. So yeah, um, Droplet is has a lot of, of utility and versatility in the deck. So that's why. That's why I like it, and the main main, main reason why I, I'm playing three copies of three copies of, of it in the deck, and like the imperm, Valor, uh, Valor and the ashes on um, Droplet is like nothing to snatch at. It's really really Im impactful right now, even even with the new format. Um, call by the grave, cause uh, it's really really good. Um, and the uh, and the and the three strikes. Uh, Dragon Buster back up with Strike is really really good, especially if you have a hand tried, hand tried to back it up like a like a bear or Ash and then and and then and then Infirm because Strike will Strike will stop something. Your hand trap in your hand traps in your hand will stop another, and then your Buster is gonna banish something, and then and then it tags out, and then and then on your following turn you at least. Uh, you like pressure them to like to like go for game because Dragon Buster it's really really good and Strike overall um it's a little bit underrated at the moment but right now I think Strike is really really good. It's this guy's really good against Trigate. I I feel like because this is one of the most effective way to get rid of Shrek the the link for Trigate because the summoning is negated and. They don't get to banish a card in your field, and the and then the Shrek also does not fall up because the summoning was negative. Period. So Strike, I think, is really really good. So um, that's a thirty card main deck, mind you. It is not a thirty one card main deck. Uh, the the remaining nine cards are the are the cards that I choose to choose to play in this deck to. Like kind of improve the deck's uh, effectiveness and contingency, and they are just like the mat shown here. They are the dog medical cards in in the form of three Nidir Serpent, three Ecclesia, two floors, and the punishment. Okay, so the, the theory behind My theory behind playing this card is that, um, uh, is that uh, the the theory behind it is actually, actually like quite simple. 
So the general theory behind it is um this deck, as long as you open open a piece in that in that hanger, and then I notice that when I play out th those two cards together, it's literally meltdown Alistair, which searches invocation. Where in this deck, if you hang a reserve, you search a piece, which is equal equal equivalent uh, to searching Alistair, and then you know with the piece that you search w w with the, with your hanger, and then. Your hanger we we got another piece from the deck, which is basically invocation, which is the same as uh play invocation. Uh, when you when you when you play this deck, so uh to simplify, hanger is meltdown a a piece that you search w w with the hanger and you and you summon it. That is Alistair, and then hanger equipping another 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 piece from the deck is basically equivalent to to invocation. So yeah, that scenario, if, if that makes sense to you, well, good on you. If it doesn't, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain one more time. So, Hanger is Meltdown. Hanger is Meltdown when you, when you search a piece, and that piece, that, that's a normal summon, which you just search with, with, with the Hanger, is, is an Alistair. And then Hanger will trigger to eat up a piece from the deck, is basically the same as Invocation. In the in in the inbook there, so so that's why. So that's the theory behind it. Theory theory behind, theory behind that um of the idea of of how I want to play this deck and the dogmatic card dogmatic cards. Well, if all of that if all of that, oh if all of those guarant I mean granted if all of that oh if the hangar resolves the. Hanger equipping, equipping a piece from the deck resolves. If that resolves, you're gonna add, you're gonna have IP and the buster and to follow it up. If you have any way, if you have um, Nadir or Iglesia in your hand, uh, it's these cards is gonna back up the Dragon Buster because Dragon Buster is gonna banish one card during during, during their turn and then IP. It, IP as soon as you tag tag with the buster is gonna give you give you a link four because during during your opponent's turn the the, the pieces that get that get that get summoned with dragon dragon buster taken right they're just basically a uh, basic link for her uh to to make use uh, of of the IP. So so uh, granted if if you open hanger and, and the piece the IP and the buster is almost almost guaranteed depending depending on your hand and if you're if you have a reactivation, um, it's not gonna fail unless you get hand trapped. But if you don't get hand trapped and then have either the Eclipse or the Nidir in your in your hand, you also you also have you're also gonna have either either the filler or or or, or, or the punishment to either back up or protect your protect your Dragon Buster. So that's the that's the theory behind it. And the playing the dog Madika is on here. It kind of like boosts the contingency and the speed of the, the speed of the speed of the deck, like like quite a bit because uh, just summoning the IP and the Dragon Buster, it's not as threatening because he, because it is easily outed, outed. But playing the dog Madika cards, it is more more of a threat because technically, technically, um, Buster is gonna banish one card. It's gonna tag out. Which gonna result in a link for like a, like an Appaloosa goddess or, or something? Yes, I am playing those two, two in in the in the in this deck, and then Blur is gonna negate something else. So that's at least um three cards right there because um Blur is gonna Blur is gonna negate something. Dragon Buster is is going to uh banish a card and then de depending on what you IP into Appaloosa if you go into Appaloosa that's gonna stop at least three of the over there over the monsters and then if you go into goddess it's gonna skill drain all of your open op opponent's monsters so that's so that's three cards right there and then if you open the floor and then you search punishment with the with the glitch that's that's four cards right there. So yeah it's really really impactful and it's I think it's worth running the the Dog medical engine, engine in the stack. So that's why I, I that's I, that's why I decided decided to play play them. What wow, that was a mouthful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The the, the medical engine in ABC is not really 
like bad at all. It's quite good. It's basically um Shadow and Bo Dogmatica. Yeah. If it, it makes any sense. Because Hanger, like I said, Hanger is Meltdown. The a piece is Alistair and reactivation is invocation. And playing the Dogmatica engine after you after you combo up makes sense. I think. Does it make sense to you guys? Uh, to me, I think it makes quite. It makes kind of sense. Uh, tell me what you guys think. With, with tell me what you guys what you guys think playing the Dogmatica engine in MBC. I think I think it's quite good. Maybe you guys like to defer. Let me know in the in the in the let me know in the comments. Okay, so moving on with the extra day, I'm just gonna throw down real quick. Uh, three Dragon Buster. Um, yeah. What more? What more needs to be said about this card? It's really really good. Um, IP. Yeah, this is the board right here. Buster IP. It's yeah. These two cards are almost guaranteed. To like come out if, if you go first, maybe even second if you think in hand draft. Oh, Lina, the light, Chama, the Lux Doris. Um, this card is really, really good. I feel like because, um, it's good in this deck in the regard that it can search core, I guess. But on um, this card, it says Ecclesia when it when it's destroyed as well, so that you can get your Dangmanica engine blowing and working. And this card does some other light. Light monster from your opponent's monster, it can come out. I mean, it can get, it can get the, it can get the Iglesia, I guess. Maybe, maybe Rose too in, in the in the striker matchup, but it can come up too. Uh, Phoenix Unicorn for removal cards. Uh, Access go Tucker and the uh, and the Apollo sub so for the other IP targets. Other. Than, than the than the usual goddess. Um, these are really really good IP targets during your during your opponent's opponent's turn turn up like because um, uh, goddess is really really hard to get rid of in general if you, if you bring it out with the IP. Um, because um this this card will scourge out all of your open opponent's base of monsters, and uh, it can stop it can stop a car that that special summons from the graveyard. And then um, this is unaffected by cars that does not target. So dropper doesn't affect it. Omen doesn't doesn't affect it. So um, this card is is basically how you win versus versus Tribagate. And Appaloosa is uh, is Appaloosa because you after after your buster gets checked out. I mean that's how you make uh, any of these in in the process. After your buster checks out, um, you make this. It's gonna have at least three negations and. And it cannot be, it cannot be, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, and the and the goddess, if you bring it up with the RP, it is unaffected by pretty much everything because it cannot be destroyed by card effects, and it is uh, unaffected by card effect that does not target this card. So it's it's really really hard to get rid of. And Apollosa is Apollosa, and and Access Tucker is is. Oh, uh, when you make access to target with, with the IP, you're basically saying that if you, if, you, if you don't remove this, um, I'm killing you next turn because it's basically gonna, gonna begin because access to access to is gonna basically remove at least two of the cards when your when your buster comes out. That's three cards are getting removed, and that's probably going to be game. And if if that doesn't really cut it, you can make more Borosar straight away and then try try to like 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 a poor game. Uh, Borosar is easy to make because you 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 playing you playing ABCs and ABC PC that you tag out with the Buster basically makes um lean fours and even the God is like nobody no one's business and and the Dweller um in a slow you know slowing grinding game um Dweller versus um Despia Shadow is really really good. Because they don't get uh, resources uh, up of the cards that they send to the graveyard. Um, and this, uh, really really good. It's really really good removal. And since you're playing Dogmatic cards, uh, this is one of the best cards. Best ways to uh, to, to, to remove cards. Um, Titan Clap or Utility, I guess. Um, cards, decent. 
you know, to be played. Uh, and the Omega on this car, as if you send this car with Nidir, and then every time you send it to the graveyard with Nidir, is basically says I'm not running running on a car because this car can can get by key cars like like the hangar if it gets destroyed or if you want to make another another bus so you can you can also shuffle shuffle that back too you can, you can shuffle back in the deers or the any of the dog, dog medical cards back to the deck so, can, so that you can um, even out of the tempo or advance up the tempo yeah yeah this is a control tempo deck because ABC ABC is known to be a, known to be a control deck and the dog medical cards it just increases the the tempo of the control amount that you play in the deck. That's why the dogmatic cards to be played in ABCs make sense in in the deck. All right, guys. Wow, that was that was a mouthful and quite a lengthy video. Wow, it's it's almost 21, 21, 21, minute, 21 minutes for the whole video. All right, guys. Uh, tell me what you guys think about about this deck. Uh, ABC dogmatic. I think. I think. It works out in the end. It's a really, really interesting and fun concept for the deck for ABCs to play it moving forward. And yeah, that's my take on it. So yeah, to see you for signing up. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Iglesia is Bay. Bay. Don't forget it. Don't ever. Ever forget it. Peace out, guys. Peace out.